The topic of verification and certification is interesting. I mean, as I understand, these are quite extensive topics and they are not clear to the average person. I mean, maybe we should talk about it separately and explore this topic. Well, look, I can explain it in a nutshell. Maybe it will provide some insight into it. Verification is a series of operations that are performed to confirm the compliance of the measure and instrument performance with the meteorological requirements. In layman's terms, you need to check the measurement accuracy and measurement range. We can't do this on our own. The verification procedure can only be performed by an organization that is accredited to perform the verification procedure. Therefore, when the time is due and the previous verification report is about to expire, we need to carry out regular verification. We take the device to a third-party organization where they perform verification in compliance with the methods approved for this measuring instrument. This applies to verification, and verification is respectively performed only for measuring instruments. But as for the test equipment, there is a different procedure – certification. The so-called certification is carried out for the test equipment. And the main goal is to confirm the performance parameters specified in the documentation for this equipment and the operational readiness of this equipment. The test equipment may include measuring instruments, which is implemented in our test bench. So, in addition to the test equipment, there is also measuring equipment there, but it doesn't contradict anything. For the first time, the certification procedure is carried out together with an accredited organization. I mean, we have signed a contract with a third-party organization and developed a methodology program to guide the certification procedure. The third-party organization has carried out metrological examination of these documents and then conducted certification together with us. It was a year ago, in August 2019. It's been a year since then. And as the documents, program and methodology were approved, and the initial certification was successful, we conducted the regular certification on our own, without outsourcing. So, now our equipment and our test bench has been approved for another year. They are operational for the next year, and we can continue working. 